All right, so here is a question that one of my students actually asked me, and it is a great question. So I wanted to go ahead and address this one specifically. Are I picky fonts safe for commercial use? And the thing is, is sometimes it can be a little bit tough to get this information from iPicky themselves because their terms of service tend to be a little bit vague. You really have to search, okay? It's an excellent program. I highly recommend it. I have done some great things using iPicky. But as far as, you know, really getting all the information that you need, sometimes you have to do some digging, okay? I went ahead and I actually Googled that very question i picky fonts free for commercial use and this is actually from this is from their blog it's actually from 2012 okay so i actually don't really know what might have changed since then but this is what i found will i be able to use i picky commercially and they're saying yes you can you do not need a premium or any other account type needed however if you're wanting to use anything you know, other than just I picky, like say the fonts, your rights would be restricted to non-commercial and personal use only. If you want to use any of the fonts for commercial use, you'd have to contact the owners for permission. Links to the owners will be available inside I picky soon. All right. So again, that was back in 2012 and I have not seen any links to the owners. So what I did was I went into... As you can see right here, I use, this is like snow caps, okay? So I went to Google and I typed in, let me see, I think I have it here. I had typed in, that's not it. I looked this one up too because this is like a particular favorite of mine. But I had typed in, let me see here, snow cap, snow top caps, free font for commercial use. Okay, and as you can see, it's on Defont, it's on 1001 1, fonts, and, um, and then I went here because the other two websites actually didn't quite give me the information I was looking for, okay? That one at least said something, all right? So what I wanted to do here is finally I found an area where I could see license, all right, and as you can see here, free for personal use, free for commercial use, modification allowed, redistribution allowed. Okay, so if you're in iPicky and you go to one of these fonts, all right, and once you type something in here, you can go, oops, sorry about that. All you have to do is click on that, as you know, and you can find all of these. All right, down come whatever it is that you want to use. Okay, but if you wanted to go and look for something in, in specific, let's look at Old London. Okay, so would Old London be free to use? So if it's not showing up on Google, like if you can't get like a, a clear answer somewhere here your best bet would be to click on one of them okay and see what kind of licensing terms you can find okay and if you can't find a licensing term that is clear enough for you to get the information you are looking for personally i'd look for something else okay so here on this website, I am, at least it's not jumping out at me. Okay, I think that was it. And then let me see, download from external website. Okay, so you wouldn't go there. So let's go to, let's go to 1001 fonts and we'll see for sure. Or at least I think we'll see for sure. Okay, should have gone here first. Free for commercial use. Okay, view the license details. Okay. What is the FFC? Free for commercial use, copyright. Okay, usage, creation websites, transcribe, commercial use. 
that you guys would want to know about the commercial use. Anything that will generate direct or indirect income. Okay, so based on what I have seen, it looks like you would be able to use it for commercial use may not be modified or altered or adapted or built upon without written permission, okay? But as far as commercial use, it looks like this one does fall into that category. So guys, that is what I would do. That is the best advice that I can give you. The question, can you use iPicky fonts for commercial use? The answer, some of them, you'd have to look. Okay, so that's what I would do. I would recommend that you find which ones you like and Google them and go through a couple sites until you can see a very specific sign telling you that they are free for commercial use. There will be some cases where you might have to contact the owner of that font, the creator of that font. They might tell you, you know, what's involved. They might let you do it. I don't know. But that is the most responsible answer that I can give you. Okay. Um, your best bet also, if you don't want to go through a big hassle, you can go to Creative Market, um, Creative Fabrica, the Hungry, the hungry JPEG, um, font bundles. You sign up for your free account. They will send you weekly freebies. You can go to their websites and find the freebies. I've created videos and I've done demonstrations on that as well. And what you do is you just look for the usage terms there, but at least they're going to be clear. Okay. So guys, that is the best thing that I can tell you to do. As far as Canva goes, I wouldn't use any of Canva's stuff for commercial use for the most part because they tend to be pretty strict, okay? But that is the answer to your question. Again, can you use iPicky fonts for commercial use? The answer, some of them. You'll have to investigate some of them as well. All right, guys, I hope this helps.